This time on Bulletproof Tactical, we're gonna check the Juggernaut case and we're gonna see if it's worth every penny. So stick with me here. You kidding me? YouTube, do you monetize my video again? I need to give them a call. Hey Siri, can you call YouTube? Calling YouTube, mobile. Yes, hello? Hello, thank you for calling YouTube customer service. My name is Sheen. How may I assist you today? Yeah, I want to know why you guys demonetize my videos again. Oh, I can totally get where you're coming from. And I can totally assist you with this one. But before... May I know who I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Yes, hello, this is Bulletproof Tactical. Bulletproof, what, sorry? Bulletproof Tactical. Oh, Mr. Bulletproof Tactical. Okay, let me pull up your account information. Okay, so Mr. Bulletproof Tactical, I have went ahead and I see here that you have been demonetized because your videos are too violent. Too violent? Oh, and you use the, the letter F too much. And I said the letter L? The letter L as in Frank? Yes, sir. Now you guys got to be freaking kidding me. So I know what you guys are thinking. Bulletproof Tactical is reviewing phone cases. Well, yeah, I'm going to review phone cases this time because I previously broke my my old case. And of course, this is a tactical case. So I, I wanted to go ahead and review it for you guys. See if it's worth the pennies. Let's start off with a price point. This case was $55. I ordered it on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave the link below so you guys can check it out in case you guys are interested. And uh, there's not much options out there when you're looking for a tactical case. I'll be honest with you guys, $50, sorry, 55 plus taxes with free shipping, I thought was a bit excessive. Uh, I spent $25 on this case and in my opinion, I think it's more tactical. Here's why. So this case gave me good service. I was stuck with this case for one year straight. You guys can definitely see it took some hits. I dropped this phone many times. I'm a big time heavy phone user. I use it for business. I use it for work. I use it to edit. I use it to film. You name it. I'm always using my phone. And one thing I do like about it is that it completely seals the the phone you have basically six screws all around the edges so you can basically screw down your phone uh last time i dropped it it broke the the screen protector it has a piece of glass here that protects your phone so i really do like that because you're protecting your screen which is basically the most fragile thing that the phone has uh, i like the fact that it has rubber behind it because you get a very good grip even in wet conditions i think that's really important if you're out in the woods if you're hunting if it's raining this case is basically water resistant it's watertight it's dust proof and uh, basically once your phone is in here 
hardly anything gets in it. No dust, no water, nothing. And I, I, I like this case a lot, but, you know, it is bulletproof tactical, and I wanted to get the real deal for you guys. But uh, I got to say, let's jump right to the juggernaut case so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So with the juggernaut case, I got to give them a thumbs up. It's a fantastic looking case. It does look like a quality case, but I can tell you far off, they're far away from actually protecting your phone. As you can see, you're absolutely exposed. Your glass is absolutely exposed. You cannot even put a screen protector because the edges of the case will not allow you to do so. The way you slip your phone in here, as you can see, all the edges are sealed, is you basically take this piece of plastic out and you slide your phone like if it was some sort of credit card in a ATM machine. That's how you would insert it. But there's many design flaws. For example, the mute button is absolutely inaccessible. I have small fingers and I can't even put this thing in mute. So right off the bat, this is already a bad case. Another thing I want to mention, uh, the charging port. You get this little rubber plastic here, this little piece of plastic, which basically doesn't even fit properly. And you need to be worrying about not losing this every time you want to charge your phone, unless you don't mind having that big piece sticking out right there, which personally, I think it's a big inconvenience compared to my other case. <laughs> right at $55 for this case. I don't like the fact that it looks like it's textured, but it's ac actually a really slippy, a, a slippery surface. So if you're running, your hands are wet, most likely you're going to drop your phone here. One thing I do like about this case is the fact that it can stand up. I can watch a video. I can watch Bulletproof Tactical all day. And the phone's going to stand up even like this. Sometimes it stands up not like that, you know. I think that's a neat feature, you know, because I like the color. I like the fact that it's like some polymer material. So it matches with, with one of my guns, my favorite gun, the FN57. It matches perfectly. But other than that... I got to say, it's not worth the money. For $20 less, $25 less, actually $30 less, you can get this case right here, which honestly, I used this for a year and I was extremely satisfied. I've been using this for less than two weeks and my phone has dropped like crazy. It's just slipping out of my hands constantly. Okay, so in conclusion... Which one would I buy? I would buy this one again. Why? Because it gave me absolute confidence. I never had a single issue with my phone getting damaged. A year proved it all. It's a beat up case, but it still gives me service. This on the other hand, I would also buy just to look cool, just to look military, just to look tactical, just to say you got the best case out there. But is it really the best case? In my opinion, it's not the best case. So it, it really all comes down to your type of personality, if you want the real deal or if you really want the real deal. So you pick. Thanks for watching Bulletproof Tactical and consider subscribing if you like this video. Click the notification bell, give it a like, and we'll see you on a future episode of Bulletproof Tactical.